Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor and I thought today we'd do something a little bit fun and create a plant that animates and grows. So with that said, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is press Shift A and come to Mesh and add a UV sphere. Come over to here, click open this, put segments on 12 and rings on 8. Press the tab button, come up to face select and select these faces here. Press Ctrl plus and delete these faces here. Go into object mode, come up to objects and click shade smooth. Come over to material, press the material button plus new and let's name this one soil. Change the surface to diffuse, come down to color and let's give it a nice brown color. Press Shift A, Mesh, and add a cylinder, and put vertices to 12. Press the tab button, make sure you're on face select, come to the bottom side, click the bottom, and bring it in. Press 1 on the number pad, and Shift Space, and bring it up. Come to the top, click on the face, and press Delete Faces. Press the tab button to go into an object mode, come over to modifiers and add a solidifier and now bring it over to bring it in. Click apply, press the tab button, come to the side, press Ctrl R and bring it up. Click on face select, select these faces here, E, enter, S and bring them out. Press the tab to go back into object mode, come up to object press smooth, come over to this little green triangle and click normals and auto smooth. And then drag this up until you're happy with the smoothness. Let's now click materials on and now come over to materials and let's create a new material. So new and we'll call this one plant pot. Come to surface, put on diffuse, click color and let's color our pot a nice orange color. Now let's grab our soil and shift space to bring move in, bring it up and let's make it a bit smaller on the z-axis and let's bring it in and let's now see what that's looking like so bring it out a tad till it fits nicely in your plant pot. Now press shift A mesh and bring in a cube. Make it very small and it needs to sit inside the plant pot. Now before we carry on let's name our part. So this cube will be seed, this cylinder will be plant pot, and this sphere will be soil. Now let's bring in our leaves. So shift A, mesh, plane, and let's bring it up and make it smaller and just imagine it's the size of a leaf. S, X, bring it out, make it a bit smaller, and now press the tab button, Control R, so we've got a edge loop going this way, and so right click just to drop in the middle, Control R, and four, left click, right click. So now let's turn around, and grab vert select, and grab these three verts, right click, come down to merge vertices, and put at center, Grab these four verts and make sure you're on medium point, S, Y, and bring them in. These are going to be the stem of the leaf. Let's grab these four verts now and S, Y, and bring them in. And now grab the remaining two verts, S, Y, and bring them in. Now go to vert select and grab this vert, this vert, and this vert, and let's now bring them down. Now grab the node select, grab this node and bring it down, and now grab the whole thing by pressing L when hovering over it and press E. Now come to vert select, grab this vert here, come up to proportional editing, this button here, come down here and 
push down and as you're pushing down bring your mouse scroll wheel in and now let's bring it down a little bit more okay let's go to face select and select these two faces on the back press shift s cursor to selected tab button into object mode right click set origin to 3d cursor now come up to object and click shade smooth and now let's press 7 Z go into wireframe and move it roughly to the middle press that again let's go into solid put materials on and now we'll come up and name our plane and we'll call it leaves and then we'll add a material new principle change to diffuse and the color will be a light leaf green like so come over to shading grab this diffuse move it here shift a shader transparent shift a again shader mix shader grab this node plug it into the top grab this node plug it into the bottom and grab the shader node and plug it into surface let's go back into modeling pump materials on now let's make the stem for our plant so shift s cursor to world origin shift a mesh cylinder open this up put it to 8 scale it down and this is going to be 4 r stem of our plant so imagine the bomb of it so let's say it's going to be that thickness press tab make sure you're in face mode and now let's shift space move take off proportional editing and now let's move it up to how high you want your plant to be and I think I want my plant to be about that high okay let's add some edge loops to give it some bend so control R and let's give it 20 and right click and now let's go in face select grab the top face and put proportional editing on and now press come back a bit press s and bring this out and now we can start to bring it in and now you can see the plants really thick at the bottom and gets thinner as it goes up okay let's press tab button and go to object and shade smooth and now we'll add a material so new new diffuse color will be a greenish yellowish color and let's make it darker like so okay now press ctrl a rotation and scale and let's bring the leaf up to where we first want the leaves to start so i think i want my leaves to start round about here press ctrl a rotation and scale and now let's add in an empty so shift a empty circle now click on your leaf come over to the spanner add modifier and array mesh click off relative offset click on object offset and choose the empty set the count to 25 and now bring the empty up don't worry about it going over the top at the moment and now press R Z and spin them round and then press S to scale them in at the top and then just hold the shift button and scale them just so they go to the top of your plant okay let's give the plant some bend now so press shift A come up to curve and click path let's hide the plant pot and soil for now and now click on the path and if you go in it's very hard to see at the moment but we will turn it around so R Y minus 90 press the tab button make sure that the arrows are pointing upwards press the tab button again and now let's move it halfway up now press the tab button press SZ and let's make it just a little bit longer than our stem now right click subdivide right click subdivide make sure that proportional editing is on and now let's 
click on the nodes and press G. Scroll it in so we're only moving a smaller amount. Like so. And now just grab the nodes with the G button, move them around. And just try and make it as random as possible. And I'll bring it in a little bit. Just to give it a bit more flavor. Press the tab button, right click, set origin to 3D cursor, hopefully it's 3D cursor is in the center. Click on your stem, add modifier, click curve, and click nibs path as the modifier. Click on the leaves, click add modifier, curve, and again click nibs path. Now click the nib, and drag it up, just to the bottom of the stem. And now the leaves and the stem should all follow the nerves. And lastly now, just click on the leaves and click apply and apply both the modifiers. Click on the stem and apply again. And now we can get rid of the empty and we can get rid of the nerves curve. Bring in the plant on soil. And now all we need to do is move the leaves and the stem down. Now let's do the uh, stem first, so click on the stem, come over to add modifier and click on shrink wrap and the target is going to be the seed. Click apply as uh, shape key and let's now do the same with the leaves. Add modifier, shrink wrap and the target this time is going to be the stem. Apply a shape key, add another modifier, shrink wrap and this time the target will be the seed. Click apply a shape key. Now we need to do, we need to change the renderer. So click on here and put this to cycles render. And let's now add a sun. So shift A, come down to light and click on sun. Drag across, let's bring it up and let's give it some nice direction. So R, X and R, Z. And now let's put the sun strength on five. Let's now go into animation. Put on our renderer, center the frame. So let's now hide our soil. So click on the soil, press H to hide. Make sure you are on keyframe one. So you can move this left and right and just put it on one. Set this to 300. And now let's click on the stem. Click on the little green triangle over here. Click shrimp wrap and set this value to one. Hovering over the blue, click I. Now let's do our leaves. Click on the leaves, come over to material and set the fact to one and click I again, hovering over the blue. Come to the green triangle, come to the shrink wrap, bring this value up to one, click I. Second shrink wrap, bring the value up to one, click I. Click on frame 180, come up to your stem and put the shrink wrap value down to zero and click I hovering over it. Now click on your leaves and bring the second shrink wrap down to zero and click I and click on the first shrink wrap and click I again. Now let's come down to 160 and while we're still on the leaves go to material and click I and then let's go to 170 and bring this down all the way to 0 and click I and now still on the leaves go to 250 go back to the green triangle and now bring this fact down to 0 and click I and now finally let's bring in our soul so alt H and let's on there uh, select everything so double tap A let's make sure we're in frame properly and go to frame 1 and now click the play button.
And that's the full animation. If you like this tutorial, found it useful, click the like and subscribe please. And check out my other online courses down below. Okay guys, see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, bye bye.